Lord of heaven, our names, and we shall praise your name. O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. God of God, light of light, Lo, he abhors not the virgin's womb. Very God, begotten, not created. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sing, choirs of angels, Sing in exultation, sing all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest, O come let us adore him, O come let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning. Jesu, to thee be glory given. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing, O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. When can I enter and see the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God, my tears have become my bread, by night, by day, as I hear it said all day long, where is your God? These things will I remember, as I pour my soul. How I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise him still. My Saviour and my God, my soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Isaiah, deep is calling on thee in the roar of waters. 
your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe, with cries that pierce me to the heart? My enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Up in God I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. When can I enter and see the face of God? Show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Save us, God, of all things. Strike all the nations with terror. Raise your hand against foreign nations, that they may see the greatness of your might. Our sufferings proved your holiness to them. Let their downfall prove your glory to us. Let them know, as we ourselves know, that there is no other God but you. Give us signs again, work further wonders. Clothe your hand, your right arm in glory. Assemble all the tribes of Jacob, as when they first received their inheritance. Pity the poor people called by your name. Pity Israel, chosen as your firstborn. Have compassion on the holy city, Jerusalem, the place of your rest. Let Zion ring with your praises. Let your temple be filled with your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. And the firm and chose forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth. Their word to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. He comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the skies, the rising of the sun, to the furthest end of the skies, its cause. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Give praise to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit both now and for ages unending. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. What I learned without self-interest, I pass on without reserve. I do not intend to hide wisdom's riches, for she is an inexhaustible treasure to men and those who acquire it win God's friendship. 
commended as they are to him by the benefits of her teaching. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The church sings their praises. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would praise from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that tree from fear and say from the hands of our foes we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High you shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ our Lord, in the holy pastors, you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us grow to the full stature of perfection. 
Lord, nourish the lives of your people. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you enriched your church and gave examples for us to follow. In the life and teaching of Saint Basil and Saint Gregory, grant that learning your truth with humility, we may practice it in faith and love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God. Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.